looks yeah definitely a bit too bright, a bit too yellow as it stands I don't know, it may change slightly once it's dried but I can't see it changing that dramatically but we'll see so when I come back we will carry on with this and see how we go the washer's dried and it's time to get on with painting okay as I said I wasn't too sure about the hair so what I'm going to try this time is a little bit of Screaming Skull and just dry brush it over the hair see if this works Fingers crossed, it will. bit more on the top there we are that one did. okay next we had for the flash areas don't know why I've uh, got rid of the screaming skull because we will be needing that in a moment uh, when I Get the Ungar flash back out again. And we need some of that. With some of that. A little bit more. For this we will be his nose, cheekbones, jaw, His hand. And his other, other hand. And he said other, other hand. Oops. There we are. Okay. So that's that done. Next we want... I'm going to keep the screaming skull open because so we'll be working our way through that one. Um, what we need next is the white, and that's just for the little bits of t shirt that's there, visible right under the. Under his shirt, and next we'll have the talon sand that we used for his shirt. I 
I'm going to be mixing some of that. We did mix quite a bit of that flesh colour, didn't we? So I didn't I? Okay, and now it's just now a case of highlighting where the shirt is. I've just realised what that is round his neck. It's a stethoscope. So, what I need to do there is with a bit of uh, where, 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 where are we? with a bit of iron breaker get a fine point to our brush and we go there and there and then with our black paint we can find it Ooh, yeah, that was hard work trying to get off we can do There we are. Next we will be going with the jacket which will be not castell and green but the lighter shade Elysian green. And with this so we'll just be going over small areas to pick out highlights Everywhere we're with the light is going to hit, we'll get a covering. We'll just gently dry brush over the sleeves so we get all the creases there. And we can dry brush down the back as well. So we're not doing display models, so it's not that we're really in any desperate need for um what's the looking for? Incredibly pin sharp um highlights techniques. Okay, next we're going with the tanned flesh. Again, I want quite a bit of this on our brush, which we will add to our palette. Give it a bit of a wash out first of all before we go any further because um, I don't want too much pain getting into the ferrule. And then 
I can add a little, if I think I'll add way too much of the um, what you call it, the um, oh, screaming skull. Okay, so I'll go with this. And here we can just run where we can see the creases and where we know the light is going to hit. So, there we are. Okay, so, with with highlighting, with highlighting, you can spend as much or as little time as you want um, getting it right. You can do, um, what's the words I'm looking for, you can just get a narrow brush and go along each of these to get the shading exactly spot on. It's uh, that's a good idea to do as much as you, you know, as best as you can for the use you're using it for. I've said it before, we're not using these as, um, we're going to use the same colour as we use for the trousers for the highlights edges for the case and it's just okay so a few dabs here and there and going down and then the edge is going up and over the edges like so there we are. so we have the case done, the trousers and his shirt done it's just now the saw that needs to be done and his boots well the saw is a simple matter It's room fang steel. I don't want to use the uh, iron breaker because that is too dull a metal colour. We want a firmly bright colour for this, and the steel is a much brighter colour than the iron breaker. So we just do a quick dry brush over. Well, it's not really a dry brush, but it's just a quick waft over with it. That will do. We'll do the hinge of the bag there. And more importantly, what we want to use, what we want to do, is the... Well, not more importantly, well, something that will stand out, so we can do the... belt buckle some buttons on his uh, jacket and that near enough is it for this fella what we need to do next though is using the Rhinox hide we can mix a little bit of the Rhinox hide in with the colour that we used for the um, trousers and the case and just to make it a, a much different kind of colour and with that colour we can go over his shoes like so and this other one
There we are. So that is Vincent Lee. So I'll take him off and Here's a good tip for you, I don't know if I've mentioned it before or whether you know this one already. If you get bits like this where you can't get the sticky tack off, just get another piece of sticky tack and just go over it. That will remove any sticky tack that is on that refuses to come off originally. There we are. That's it. That's Vincent Lee. Not brilliant close up, but the way we're going to be using it, it's good enough. Okay, so that's two out of the 16 done. We've got another 14 to go. As I said, I'm not going to be doing all of the um, all of the characters on camera, but I did say that what I am going to do is take some photographs of the cards now, so you can choose which is going to be the um, the next character we're going to be painting. If I don't get anybody picking, I'm just going to do a random character the same way as I did um, as I picked Vincent Lee here um, so it's going to be a random character uh, drawn by picking the card blindly okay so until next time when the choice for the next character is yours I will say take care God bless and bye for now <laughs>